Hi, hello, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 20. My name is Alex, and I'm engineering the apocalypse. Welcome back to my journey to speedrunning. Today, uh, in the second episode, I want to show you how such a speedrun may look like. So, first of all, we're going to create a game, a new random gen world, and we'll get a random seed using random.org by using a string from random.org. This is shown here on the screen. It's just to ensure that you have no prior knowledge of that game world. And that's about it. I'll reduce the world size for um, loading purposes. I will set it to not listed and all the other settings are default. So basically zombie killing is gonna be relatively easy. So as my character runs through the initial challenges, you will notice that in the top right hand corner I have added a timer. I'm using a software called LifeSplit. LifeSplit is freely available to anyone. Um, there's plenty of videos on how to tune and set up LifeSplit. So LifeSplit is a pretty much universal software for speedrunners and can be customized quite a bit. So um, I'm not gonna go into any details. It took me some time to set it up. It took me some time to get it transparent. So there's plenty of YouTube videos out there for you to enjoy if you wanna do that. Other than that, what is today's episode gonna encompass? Basically, or most of all, I'm gonna show you like the first day of a speedrun and implicitly I'm gonna show you how to get a, a bicycle by day one. So that's the goal here. Now obviously as you may remember from the last episode uh, also the initial starter quests are a speedrun category. And, um, well, see for yourself, I have a split time of 1.36 and that would right now put me in 10th place on the leaderboard for the starter. I'm probably not gonna submit that run because like it's not a really competitive time and it's about twice as long as what um, the minimum time is, but just to give you an idea, Got a good start off here and also I spawned fairly close to the trader. We'll assign skill points. Um, the build I'm using will be discussed in another video, just right for now. You see what I took. Taking the closest job, which is a clear, it's not ideal. And I'll run through the clear as fast as possible. Also in this video, I have cut out basically all of the travel time. So what you're gonna see is at the very maximum the time it takes me to go through the POIs. And while I go through this first POI, which is not an ideal POI for a speed ramp, but which is a POI that spawns fairly often, so it will probably be included in almost every speedrun. You will see two things. First of all, I'm not using a bow, I'm not using strength. Um, this is because that costs way too much time. It is uh, a safer way to do things, especially at first. But given the fact that this is standard difficulty, uh, getting hit by a zombie is not that dangerous as it would be in a regular vanilla game at Warrior or Survivalist uh, difficulty settings, which I usually use. Also, you may or may not have noticed, I'm using... I'm basically not running through the building at this point because my stamina sucks. I have put one point into cardio for better regeneration. And I put one point in Sexual Tyrannosaurus at this <coughs> point here, handing in the quest. Now, what now. am I gonna take as a reward? So Obviously, the ammo. 
also another episode upcoming this will be important further on took another quest now this again is a clear i'm at first a bit um, confused by the fact that this is a clear so i'm looking for the satchel <laughs> which isn't there obviously in a clear going at it second thing you may notice i am using a club there is a point to be made to use a knife for speedruns because it uses less stamina i'm not very good with it so i'm sticking with my club build again the build is going to be discussed in another video what else can you see from me playing this well First of all, you may notice that I know where the zombie jerks are, so yeah, there's that. Been playing this game way too much. Also, you may notice that I'm trying, at least trying, to use a certain strategy when hitting the zombies, with those being a power attack to knock them down and then finishing them off by non-power attacks to the head. Also, as you can see, I'm trying to close every door, every hatch behind me. Why do I do this? I simply don't want to have anything or anybody slipping in behind me and ruin my day. Uh, this will become more important when I do fetch quests, which will be up next. Also, you can see the final loot being very close to where I am currently. I'm not taking it. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm taking some wood though, because these wood piles are fairly rare in an urban environment and I need some wood to continue on for repairs and stuff. Now I'm screwing up a couple of seconds by when assigning the skill points, because I already got two. Okay, assign one to strength. Now reconsidering and I'll assign another one to sexual Tyrannosaur. Bad rewards, gonna tell you why in another video. Taking another quest and here we go. And this is just a fetch right now. And I'm just gonna do that. Fetch it. Okay, not just that, to be brutally honest. I'm trying to get these guys out of the way, I'm not even killing them, I'm just grabbing the satchel and trying to run out and here we go, this is the patch quest done, it's all I need to do. Again, getting another fetch quest as the next quest and while I'm doing this fetch quest I'm gonna tell you why I'm not looting. So the basic idea here in a speedrun is you got to get to tier 5 as soon as possible and finish a tier 5 quest. You do not need to craft or do anything else. So what you're gonna do while I screw up here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna loot during the night and you're only gonna loot those places you have cleared out before. Because at night you can only do one quest and that's it. So again, taking the ammo, which is going to be important, and now I'm deciding to restart the game. Why I'm restarting the game is fairly simple. I only got one quest left, I have to do one restart anyway. That quest was fairly far away and I get lucky, the next quest is just 100 meters away. It is, again, a clear though, which is not necessarily ideal. And as you can see here, I'm marking the clear quests up on the map so that I later on at night know where uh, I can loot without being bothered by zombies. So basically, what I'm saying is I need to get seven tier one quests out on day one. Seven tier one quests are usually not available, but as you have seen, if you restart the game uh, during the day, you can get new quests or your quest line replenished. All that is a bit dependent on the random number generator and what types of quests you get, but you, you will see the issues or non-issues coming. So, 
Um, I need to finish seven quests to get the bicycle on day one, and also to finish the quest line of tier one quests on day one. And even getting like in a complete speed run, I would try to get some tier two quests done on day one too. So, although I'm now basically fighting fairly close to the loot, I will not take it. It's gonna, first of all, take time to open the chest, and time in the day is absolutely necessary to run from quest to quest and to complete the quests. Second, there is a high chance that uh, any loot I'm grabbing is gonna encumber me. Again, opting for the ammo or explosives, I don't need any great. mods at this Just point, I don't need any books at this point. I Next quest well, is again a clear the area. As I said, not ideal for tier 1 quests because you'd rather have them finished quickly and get your bicycle for storage capabilities and for ease of getting to and from the quests. Also, as you can see, while I'm still using the, the wooden club, and just a tier 1 at that, um, stamina is limited. Also, that guy is not part of the QR, so I'm, not, I'm deciding not to kill him. Go up to the roof, close every door and hatch behind me, and now try to finish off the clear quest up here again. Not taking the end loot, although I'm standing close to it, but inventory management and encumbrance is something I cannot afford on day one or on any time during the day. So off we go. I'm kind of hesitating here, but all is good. Again, taking the ammo. Incredible. Now I'm running into an issue. There is only one quest left, that one is like fetch quest left, that is fairly far away, and two buried supplies. Buried supplies are completely out of the question in this context, and I need to restart once more. I'd rather not have restarted once more, because this is costing me a lot of time. But things being what they are, and this is not a competitive uh, attempt yet, I'm taking a fetch quest and running through this building. Okay. Or rather not run through the building but killing one zombie, figuring out that the satchel is com somewhere completely different and then proceeding to get it. Now, as this is I think the last quest of the day, what are the conclusions? Well basically you need to decide a build, you need run to run through the quest, you need to restart Something strategically and then there you have it uh, around 5 p.m on day one you've got the bicycle anyway thanks for watching and i hope to be seeing you again soon bye